Hello everyone, my name is Christian. Welcome back to my hobby blog. Today I'm doing a review on Stephen King's 2014, I think, 2013 novel, Revival. I just read this over the last about five days. I finished it on Saturday morning, I believe. And oh my gosh, this is absolutely amazing. This might be my favorite Stephen King book I've read yet. I've read It, I've read Misery, I've read The Shining... Uh, and Carrie. I've read four books now. I guess this is my fifth Stephen King book, so that's a good milestone that I have finished now. I can kind of call myself a fan of Stephen King, but um, this was actually the first Stephen King novel that I read that I didn't know the story of. All the other ones I have known the story of because I've seen the movies like Carrie, Misery, uh, It, all different versions of those, and this was the first book that I don't think it has a adaptation, an adaptation. So I was really interested in this. And a friend of mine who I've known since kindergarten, he was like, yo, like, I was just, you know, over at his apartment and he, I saw his, like, Stephen King shelf and I was like, oh my gosh, like, you have so many Stephen King books. And he asked me, like, have you read Revival? Like, this is an awesome, awesome book. And basically what it's about is, um, we have our main character of Jamie, who starts out as like five years old, I believe, in this book. And he's living in kind of uh, rural uh, Maine, like really kind of country Maine, like no one lives out here. There's one church that he goes to and he and his family go to. It's a big family. Uh, they own like a gas company or oil company and a new uh, reverend comes into town, uh, Charles Jacobs. And this guy is, like, one of the most Stephen King characters ever. Like, And this is something I love about all of his books, uh, Stephen King's characters. And the character of Jamie and Charles Jacobs, the entire book is about their relationship as a sort of... They can never stay away from each other because about halfway through the book, uh, we kind of get a time jump to... Uh, kind of later in life, Jamie and Charles Jacobs, and we kind of get caught up uh, to what's been happening with Charles Jacobs because we don't see him for a while. And it's really fascinating just kind of tracking uh, both of these characters because we only have one POV in this book, and that is uh, Jamie. And the entire book is him kind of interacting with this reverend who apparently has this, like, secret electricity going on and he's you know really uh eccentric he is sort of the first person uh in this town to come in with all of these kind of new electrical ideas or electrical uh techniques that have not been really proven yet and this is all being told kind of in flashback this entire book and so we kind of get like the modern day what we know like in modern day science we get a lot of like, oh, this is what this was, this is what that was. Like, Charles Jacob was, you know, the first to do all of this. And it's just so fascinating. And by the end of the book, I was just completely hooked. Like, I was hooked within the first 50 pages. And it's only about 400 pages. I ended up finishing it in about four days. And I thought I had taken a long time. I thought I, thought I was taking my time with this book. <laughs> okay? And so... When I got to, like, page 400, it's like 410 pages, I believe. But when I finished it, I was like, oh my gosh, like, this was such an easy read. Uh, the writing that Stephen King has, his prose, is so accessible. And I think this is why a lot of people love Stephen King, because not only is his writing accessible, or not only does he write a lot of books, but all of them are pretty accessible to read. Uh, and I know some people aren't big fans of some novels, but, I mean, that goes with the territory because of how many books he's released. But, um, yeah, I really loved kind of the little moments of horror as well because this is a Stephen King novel, so you kind of expect that. And this is a lot more kind of dread, kind of like Lovecraftian type of uh, horror, I would say. And the ending is very Lovecraftian. Uh, I would say this book is very similar in how it was but take out pennywise uh for like the most of the story so uh 
this was just like this book was my jam i <laughs> i really really enjoyed it um all of the characters were really well written all of them i kind of grew to love uh stephen king just really knows how to tap into like uh sort of like um relatable kind of characteristics of people and putting them into people who like sure you don't like them on the surface but there's a lot more to them like they have depth and i really loved uh sort of the adult um jamie storyline because it's all about him becoming a musician and becoming like a guitarist for like many different bands and he's just touring he's doing drugs and you know just having a really kind of bad life. And I really felt like uh, that section in particular, in particular, was just so well written, like, compared to everything else in the book, which is very, like, straightforward, accessible, great, uh, very um, sort of bingeable. But then we get to this section, and it's really kind of, profound for me i mean i've had some issues in my life with addiction with mostly alcohol and not really any drug uh, addiction that this character is going through but you know i've had sort of the same feelings that he goes through uh when he's talking about like you know withdrawals you know and all that stuff and it was really uh just great to read <laughs> and everyone knows you know stephen king's issues that he went through with um cocaine and all of that, but, um, yeah, this book, that section was just really effective, in my opinion, I really, really enjoyed that, and appreciated that, because it could have really been, like, something kind of cheesy, like, the way that the characters talk is a little cheesy for me, especially when we're kind of in the 50s and 60s, and into the 70s, even, and there's even, uh, one child character, during the 2000 kind of 10 section because uh, the book came out in 2014 so he's kind of going up to present day when he wrote the book but there's a kid in there and he says something so like 1950s that it took me out of the book but I decided to just not really care that much <laughs> because Stephen King has a tendency to uh, write I guess younger characters as like oh gee whiz uh, you know, and all that, and, you know, just using sayings that nobody uses nowadays, unless you're somebody's, you know, great-grandfather, so that is one little thing that I didn't really care for in this book, but everything else in this book was just fantastic, uh, the ending was just superb, but, um, it was everything I wanted from it, and I don't know if there's really any reason to uh, do a sequel. This is a really great standalone book. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what um, what it sits in my ranking, because I love Misery. I think that was one of my favorite books. It, I think, it was my favorite for a while. But uh, Misery and this book, I think, are top three, for sure. I mean, I love Carrie. I really enjoy it. I think the movie... It's a lot more effective because we have the amazing uh, acting by Piper Laurie, who is just, you know, amazing. She's amazing in Trend Peaks as, as well. But uh, The Shining book I really love as well, but it's more like a comfy kind of love. I don't really care for the movie. I know that's a really hot take, especially as the movie guy that I am. But um, I just don't care for that movie. I prefer the book. I think... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go into it. One day I will, if I reread it. But, um, yeah, I just, I think this book is definitely a 5 out of 5. I think this is everything I wanted this book to be. This was a really quick read for me, read in four days. I never was bored while reading it. All the characters were great. The settings were great. We went all over, kind of, the U.S., you know, as the characters were touring, and we were getting more details about, uh, the Reverend, and it was just amazing. I, I highly recommend everybody go read it. Uh, the Revival is just, I never heard of this book before I, uh, my friend gave it to me, so thank you so much for lending it to me, uh, if you're watching this. But, um, yeah, uh, if you have not read it, please go read it. I think it is amazing, 
And please come back and comment what you think of the uh, book because I want to talk to people about this book. <laughs> it was so fascinating. But uh, I think that's it for today. So thank you all so much for watching. And please comment below if you haven't already. Please follow if you haven't already. I do a lot of books uh, nowadays, book reviews and book discussions as well, mostly in fantasy. But I do like Stephen King a lot as well. So I will be doing more Stephen King, uh, I think, next year for sure. So thank you all so much and please have a great rest of the day.